This video is going to be a demonstration of how to bring in non-native CAD files into Solid Edge and how you can use the surfacing tools available in Solid Edge to edit those surfaces. Notice that we're going to open up a step file and also notice that Solid Edge can open up files from ProEngineer, SolidWorks, CATIA, or any other CAD file type that you see right here. Let's finish opening this up and we're going to open up as an inch part. First thing I want to do is edit the visibility. And I also want to isolate the surface that I'd like to work with. And because different CAD systems create uh, CAD geometry differently, we're going to use this optimize tool and optimize this specifically for Solid Edge. Whenever you're doing surfacing, it's recommended that you work in the ordered environment, so I'm going to make that transition right now. Anytime that you bring in CAD data from a different system, you lose that um, history of how your part file was created. So what we're going to do is we're going to start recreating that history over here in our Pathfinder. We're going to start off using the Redefine tool. And what that does is recreates the sketches and the curves and creates a redefined surface. Um, you also have the option to place additional cross-section cross sketches along your part if you'd like to. Um, first, what I want to do though is I'm actually going to get rid of this surface. I'm going to keep the redefined curves and sketches that we uh, were able to create from the data that we brought into, into Solid Edge. I'm going to turn off the original part file. And we're going to use a tool called Blue Surf to create a new surface. And we're going to do that. We're going to start by using the cross sections right here. And then we're going to use guiding curves to help us finish off our part. And I think I'd also like to place a couple of sketches along our along our surface right about here. <clears throat> now I'm going to do something. Um, I'm going to turn on the what's called control points. And we're going to use control points to further edit our surface. And now I have the ability to uh, just click to select one of these control points. And then I'm just dragging my mouse to manipulate the surface. Using control points, you can also use uh, smart dimensioning. And I'm going to select a couple of these control points. And now I have the option and the ability to control and dimension my surface um, using the control points. This video has been how to bring in non-native CAD files into Solid Edge and how to recreate those surfaces using the tools available within Solid Edge.